day two of the whiting hunt. I'm trying something new. Stay tuned. It's the hunt for whiting, day two. We'll see if we're successful today. I'm running a double hook rig. I've got shrimp fish bites at the top and sand fleas at the bottom, blinking light in the middle. And I'm doing something different today. I've got a little float here. And the idea is I want the weight to be on the bottom, but I want the bait to be up a little bit. And I've got another rod that I'll rig up the exact same way without the float, and we'll see what works. So in other words, it's kind of like a sand tea rig. And this doesn't need to be on top. I just want it to be able to support the fish bites and get them up on the bottom. We're out here at one of the spots we marked earlier on our recon. It's still looking good. I'll pan over and show it to you. You can see that we're pretty much at high tide. I've got waves hitting on the sandbar over there and nothing over here. So I think I'm at the beginning of the gap. So if there's any whiting, maybe they'll be coming through here. I know they've been catching them down at Oak Island, hopefully they've, which is to the south of us. Hopefully they moved up here. We'll see. Two rods in action. You couldn't ask for a better day than this. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, see my rod twitching up there? I think I might have a hit. Yep, it's a puffer, but interesting, it's on the rod with the float. I'll take this guy off, get him back in the water. There he goes, back in the water. You know, the challenge of surf fishing that you freshwater guys won't understand is that there's really nothing to target out here. Yeah, you can find the spots in the surf that are likely, but unless the fish happen to be swimming by, you're just gonna be out here and get stung. So it's all about when you're here and if you really get lucky. But the first part of that is finding a likely spot just like it is in freshwater fish. So far, not much. Had some bait bitten off and just that one puffer. So update on the rig. I've had a lot of hits on the rig with the float and the light pretty much none on my other rig with just the light. My buddy Dick isn't using a float or a light. So I'm thinking that the little bobber on there might be having a positive effect. Well, puffer number two here. They're going for the shrimp. And again, it's on my rod with the float. Let me get this guy off back in the water. I think I may have jinxed the trip. I brought the cooler bag. And now there's nothing to put in it. Well, at least I wasn't stung. We'll have to come out here and give it another try on another good day shortly. Take care.